Hey there chameleons, it's Camille and today we're doing Get Ready With Me College Edition because yes, I am back in college. <laughs> today we're going to be doing simple makeup that I would normally do on a regular school day, um, an outfit to give you ideas and we're going to chit chat a little bit. Alright, so I just woke up, I'm in my YouTube Space t-shirt, <laughs> as you do, and I'm starting with moisturizer as I always start my day after washing my face. This has SPF 15, so I'm gonna protect my skin. People think you don't need to put on any SPF during winter, which is actually false because the sun still exists in winter. So I don't always wear foundation to school because it is just school and my skin is finally clear, so I love wearing it out. But today I'm going to go with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation and this is in cardamom. I like the formula of this, but one thing I don't like is the packaging. When you take it out, it's like not a pump and it's like hard, but how do you put it on? I don't know, I've been doing this. Probably not how it's meant to be. So there you go, I was able to actually spread it out on my face, so apparently I'm not doing everything wrong. <laughs> I'm using my Artiste brush to blend it in because it is so fast, and all you have to do is just glide it all over your face. All right, so now that I have that on, I'm just going to quickly go over my face with a setting powder. This one's by Milani. And a lot of the times white powders will give you flashback or make you look kind of ghostly. So I'm making sure that I'm only using a little bit of this and I'm doing it with a fluffy brush so it blends out. So next is blush and bronzer and I'm using Too Faced Your Love is King. And this is like a sample or something, but I really like the color. So I do use it pretty regularly. And this is Becca's Sunlit Bronzer in I Panama Sun. I probably pronounced that wrong. I do like to highlight because I feel like it kind of just makes your overall look. And I've been using my ring finger to just dab it a little bit along my cheekbone because that way it gets placed exactly where I want it to be. And then I take a brush and just lightly blend it out. That way it's not super crazy and like all over the place. It's just diffused. What's next? What's next? So next up, I do my brows. I've been using this Bodyography Trio for a while. I'm the second darkest shade and an angled brush to fill in my brows. And all I do for my eyebrows for school is just emphasize the shape that I already have. And I always brush it out with a little spoolie so then it looks a bit more natural. I like to just like brush up and out. So because it's school and I don't really have that much time in the morning, I usually pick one eyeshadow that I want to go with. So this is my Z palette that I'm going to use. And I'm picking this one, which is Grandstand. It's a foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to put it all over my lids. And it's just going to give me a little bit of color. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to emphasize my lash line. And you can do that two ways. Eyeliner or mascara. Mascara is definitely my favorite. And if you don't do eyeliner, you can really see the mascara a lot better. So I'm using iHeart Extreme, which is a mascara by Essence, and it's just really great for volume. And I just noticed it's also waterproof, which explains a lot about how it's a little bit hard to get off my lashes. <laughs> I love very voluminous lashes, especially if I'm doing a simple look. I'll just let the lashes speak for the whole look. I'm gonna throw on a little bit more highlight. My favorite trick for school makeup is to use a lip color that's pretty nude so if it fades throughout the day then no one can tell and no one can tell if you be eating lunch. So I'm using Smashbox Mob Wife because that is the color that does it for me. Alright, next is fashion and before we go I have a quick tip for you guys. So if you're looking for new pieces and you want a discount like all college kids, there's a site called Unidays that gives college students discounts on a bunch of sites and here are some of my favorites, but they've also partnered with others like Apple, Express, Levi's, Adidas, Samsung, Ray-Ban, etc. They also have an app, so you can browse the discounts on your phone, and they have categories other than fashion as well, but that's just the most exciting one to me, and it's actually how I heard about it a few years ago while browsing ASOS's website. All you need to sign up is your student email, so I've partnered with Unidays to bring you this helpful tip 
And if you're interested in checking it out, the link is in the description box. If you end up liking Unidays, you can also refer a friend and earn $5 every time someone signs up with your referral link. So the outfit I'm going to show you is something pretty similar to what I'd wear normally. And that's because I want to be comfy and I want to look at least somewhat good without having to spend too much time picking out the outfit in the morning. So this is a gray sweater from Boohoo that I like to wear with a pair of black jeans. And these black jeans that I have, they fit me really well. And they were from this like online store that doesn't exist anymore, so I'm really sorry, I can't point you towards it. But they do have like rips in the knees. So I've been doing this lately, which is <laughs> a really interesting way to say warm. I took Kyler's thermal underwear. <laughs> And it's just like black stretchy tights pretty much and I wear them under my pants because it's cold and they're black so it's just like you can't really tell that the jeans have anything under it really. Then I pair it off with my black Chelsea boots because they're simple, they look good and they're pretty comfortable because they have a thick heel. So then the last element is hair and as you can see my hair is already done because I did it yesterday and I slept on a satin pillowcase so I didn't mess it up. So I'm not really doing anything to it today, but I will do a hair tutorial sometime in the near future on how I made this. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you chameleons enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. All of my socials are linked in the description box down below. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I'll see you in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.